1. The most crucial element in a man's dating success is his appearance. 2. More so than men, women value appearance. 3. The main reason for this is that women are much pickier when it comes to choosing partners. Their approach to dating is comparable to that of a fisherman using a single line to catch the best fish. 4. There are many men out there who will essentially go with anyone attractive or unattractive. Most men take wherever they can get there like sea trawlers casting a big net into the ocean and picking up whatever. 5. Because of the proliferation of online dating apps, guys are now placing an even greater emphasis on their appearance. 6. Because women are exposed to more and more options every day, appearances are also becoming more significant. What's the quickest way to choose between 100 possibilities? Just get rid of anyone short, unattractive, bald, etc. 7. Any man who scores an attractiveness score of 8 or higher will have the red carpet stretched out for him on dating apps. 8. Any man who rates himself between 5 and 7 on the attractiveness scale would suffer greatly when using online dating, with almost any matches and responses to messages. 9. Men with ratings below 5 will not be matched. 10. The top 10% of men receive 60% of their likes on online dating apps. 11. The best 20% of men receive 80% of the matches. 12. The top 50% receive 95% of the matches. 13. Only 5% of matches go to the poorest 50% of men, on average. 14. These figures also demonstrate that appearances are largely unbiased. There isn't much room for preference or opinion. 15. Women can now work for themselves or rely on the government to give resources. Therefore, a man's wealth no longer matters to them. 16. A woman is not attracted to a man who enters a relationship solely based on wealth. All of it is phony love. 17. His sole goal is to give her resources so that she can pay her bills, go on pricey dates, take vacations and so on. 18. Any man who enters a relationship primarily due to his wealth is likely to be dumped the moment he loses his job or his investments. 19. Money-based relationships will probably become their bedrooms in the end. Possibly twice a year, on his birthday and at Christmas, the man will experience intimacy. 20. Being confident isn't very helpful and only works if the man in question is already handsome. 21. A confident yet unattractive guy is frequently viewed as scary or arrogant. 22. Statistics show that confidence is strongly correlated with appearance. Shorter, less attractive, and overweight students are more likely to experience bullying at school, which unsurprisingly will hurt a person's confidence and self-esteem. 23. Attractive people are more likely to receive compliments from teachers which in turn gives them more confidence. 24. In general, people acquire a measure of confidence based on their appearance. 25. For instance, how does this small man appear assured in front of the camera? If this man, who is much taller than him, is standing next to him. 26. With such bad teeth, how is this man able to smile so confidently? 27. With his severe facial acne, how can this man feel good about himself? 28. Status is unimportant. 29. Like confidence, status is heavily influenced by appearance. 30. Even though foreigners only make up 15% of the population, 58% of CEOs are foreign experts. 31. Women typically only become concerned with status once they are ready to settle down. 32. Girls in their 20s aren't very interested in a man's BM dope. If the driver is bald, short, and elderly. 33. Once you surpass the minimum threshold for attractiveness for women, they stop caring about your personality. 34. You can get away with pretty much anything once you are way above a woman's minimum looks threshold. Your negative personality traits can actually be viewed as positives. 35. A shy, attractive man is thought to be cute. 36. A shy, unattractive man is perceived as being antisocial. 37. A charming man who is awkward is viewed as cute or funny. 38. People view an awkward, unattractive man as weird or creepy. 39. Women will willingly laugh at bad jokes when an attractive man tells them because they want to impress him. 40. Good jokes from an unattractive man will be ignored depending on if they are considered appropriate or not. 41. A smart, attractive man is thought to be smart. 42. Nerdy or geeky intelligence is a sign of an unattractive man. 43. A handsome man without friends is considered to be a lone wolf. 44. A man without friends is viewed as a friendless loser if he is unattractive. 45. Things like grooming or enhancing your appearance are overrated and don't add up too much. 46. 
Since clothing and hairstyles are not influenced by genetics and cannot be passed on to future generations as an environmental factor, women are unlikely to give a damn about them. 47. Attractive men who wear nice clothing make them look good. 48. An unattractive man would look awful in those same clothes. 49. Joining a gym only benefits those who have at least average facial features because it can significantly enhance their appearance. 50. Getting a gym body won't likely help if your facial features are below average because it will be viewed as overcompensating. 51. A short guy with a gym body may come off as an aggressive leprechaun, which is pitiful. 52. Due to factors like a poor frame and poor muscle building genetics, some men who are even taller than average and have above average facial features still have genetic limitations. 53. If a man is of average height and was previously overweight, reducing body fat in the gym can drastically improve his attractiveness. 54. The man will hardly be in a better position than before if he is not attractive underneath the fat. 55. The sole distinction between a boyfriend and a friend is a person's physical attractiveness. 56. The majority of conventional dating advice is terrible. Additionally, it only works to improve people's self-esteem temporarily. Anyway, that's all for today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. It motivates me to create more content for you. See you next time. Cheers.